So this short question is about, I am one week out for my step one. Uh, what do I do to improve my score the most over this time? Okay, very popular question. So I can give very concrete, tangible value here. Very easy question, okay? So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Please share with one of your friends who's prepping for US Millie. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. The link is down below. And also find us on Telegram. We recently created a Telegram group. Link is also down below. Now addressing the actual question about one week before uh, the step one, what do I do to maximize my score? Easy question because we are so close to the exam that the high degree of variability among students is essentially canceled out, okay? So your strengths, your weaknesses, your scores, just everything sort of cancels out when you get to within a week, okay? Now, we're not talking about like, are you gonna be pushing your exam out because you're not getting the scores you want? That's an entirely different question. Let's just say for starters that you are definitely sitting your step one in a week and how do we maximize the chance that you peak going into your exam, okay? And the answer to this question, I say it's very simple, is you are going to memorize your incorrects from NBME forms 25 through 30 as a baseline. So you're going to screen, and if you haven't done all, all forms 25 through 30, absolutely audacious and asinine at this point. And if, if let's say you've done two of those six exams, you should at least do three more before your exam. For some, the lower you're scoring, the harder it is to squeeze in those NBMEs if you haven't done them already, because you're gonna have so many incorrects, okay? If you're scoring pretty high, there's not gonna be as many incorrects, it's easier to get through an exam per day, okay, as an example. But in general, I say things cancel out as you get closer. You need to memorize your incorrects from 25 through 30, okay? So if you have been saving one or two NBMEs for the final week, sit those and then just memorize those questions in addition to the incorrects you had from 25 through 30. Screenshot your incorrects into a Word document, save as a PDF, review those incorrects, memorize the answers, okay? And also review the corrects, okay? The corrects from 25 through 30 after you've gone through the incorrects. If you are very, very fast to get through that material, okay, that's gonna be enough for many students. Okay, if you're if you're able to get through 25 through 30, at that point you can remediate as you need going through my high yield PDF, high yield PDFs, subject specific, in the evenings. Okay, so for instance, I don't want you sitting, spending your entire day necessarily going through my PDFs if it means that you are not memorizing the NBME material 25 through 30, okay? I've talked about other content 20 through 30, but we're talking one week, it's not a lot of time, okay? So your priority needs to be memorizing the questions from 25 through 30, your incorrects take priority over the corrects, and then after you start ADDing the fuck out because you've been doing questions for six to eight hours in a day, you can review my PDFs subject specific in the evenings, okay? Cardio, renal, endocrine, etc. The endocrine in particular, very fucking important, especially if your scores are lower, okay? There's a lot we can talk about, but in the final week, focus on the NBME material during the day, memorize the questions, do my PDFs in the evening, okay? That's a very good, effective, consolidated answer. And obviously I'll address more questions. So if you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.